we do about 500 uh, roof inspections or more a year, and, and I would say a huge portion of those are uh, storm-related damage. Hello everyone, Mike Schooner with the 812 Living Group and the 812 and You blog. I am joined today uh, by my friend and MVP, Brent Calloway of English Roofing. Brent, thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks Mike for having me on. Yeah, so Brent is one of our MVPs at 812 Living Group. And the MVP is a most valuable provider. It's someone that we know we can refer our clients to we can count on that they're gonna get taken care of. Brent happens to be with English Roofing and Brent, you, you, it's English Roofing, but you don't necessarily just do roofs. Tell us a little bit about English Roofing and the services you all offer. Yeah, we're really a full service home improvement company. Uh, so we, we obviously offer residential and commercial roofing, but in addition to that, we do siding, windows, doors, gutters, gutter guards, um, trim, soffit. So if, if you can think of it on the ac exterior of your house, we, we probably take care of that for you. Yeah, if, you got, if, if they can break it, you can fix it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so look, why, why are we doing this video? Why are we having Brent on today? Uh, Southern Indiana, it's springtime, which means it's storm season. We've already seen a little bit of rain. Uh, we've already seen, actually had some, some flooding early on, uh, but wanted to have Brent on for our audience, for our clients, just to talk about roofs, uh, roof damage from storms, why it's important to get a jump start on it. Uh, so Brent, I'm gonna hit you with a couple of rapid fire questions. Uh, I know you're not a meteorologist, <laughs> but you are in the roofing business, which means you pay attention to storm season. So in Southern Indiana, what does that, what does storm season look like? When does it start in? Uh, we're in it right now. It usually begins in late March, um, goes all the way through June and, and then starts to taper off in July as the weather heats up. Yeah. And, and then some years, uh, I would guess, I, my experience, we've even gone into the fall on occasion. Oh yeah. Yeah. Occasionally so. Yep. Yeah. So how many roofs do you see? Uh, whether you guys are repairing them or not, or damaged every year in Southern Indiana. Man, it's hard to put a number to that. There's so many. We we do about 500 uh, roof inspections or more a year, and and I would say a huge portion of those are uh, storm related damage. Yeah, yeah. So this one company, 500. Do you can you recall the last major storm event that you would consider major storm event? We haven't had a major storm event in the entire area uh, for about two years now, yeah. um, but we have had some isolated groups. Um, so, uh, you know, somewhere in the end of 2019, we had a, a storm cell move through that that gave wind damage in Salem and we had hail damage in Sellersburg from the same storm. So these pop up storms can do some real damage, too. Yeah. And so we're talking about 500 roofs a year just for your company and then it seems like about every other year we're going to have some type of major storm event that that even uh takes that number higher across the region uh so here's the big question what is an average roof cost to replace well of course that depends on the size of the house uh we see the average roof in our area probably around that eight thousand dollar range yeah. Yeah. Okay. So not a, not an insignificant cost. Correct. And so here's the even more important question for our, our listeners. Who, who usually pays for a roof replacement? <laughs> well, most homeowners um, are looking at their insurance company for that project. Mm -hmm. So I would say the majority of, of those are coming through the insurance. Coming through the insurance, I'm sure with some caveats. And um, we're going to actually get to that. So, uh, Brent, I've got a segment called 81.2. <laughs> so you've come prepared today with five tips uh, about roofs, how to protect your roofs, how to kind of get in front of this storm season, maybe save some money uh, for the homeowner, keep, keep the homeowner can keep some money in their pocket, right? Yep. And protect their largest investment. So you've got five tips. I'm going to give you 81.2 seconds. 
Okay. <laughs> try and relay those to us. So All right. Are you, are you ready for this challenge, my friend? Uh, I will do the best I can, sir. All right. I've got my timer here on my phone. That's a picture of my lovely wife that just popped up there. But I've got a timer here. When I say go, you share your tips with us and you will hear a buzzer when the time is up. So okay. uh, if you're ready, on your mark, get set, go. All right, so tip number one is perform general maintenance. You wanna look at areas on your roof that are susceptible to storm damage, wind and, and wind-driven rain. So we recommend caulking flashings around chimneys or, or, or walls, step flashings, reseal any loose shingles, things that have popped up, look for nail pops and things like that. Um, check your fascia and trim to make sure that it's secure. Those things are usually really susceptible to wind. Um, ridge cap nails, uh, tallest point on your roof, it's gonna be easily damaged. Um, and then check those boots around penetrations, vent pipes and things like that to make sure they're not cracked or dry rotted. Um, all of these things are areas that will allow wind driven rain to get in and uh, can create a lot of costly damage in the future with a minimal cost if you take care of it now. So step number two, check your gutters. A lot of people don't think about their gutters as part of their roof line, but it certainly is. You wanna clean and repair those. Um, make sure that there's no way for standing water to accumulate. If that backs up, it gets into the soffits, it can run into the house and that can cause a lot of problem as well. Number three, understand your insurance policy. So with most homeowners looking at insurance to pay for their roof. Oh, Brent. Oh. That's a buzzer, man. <laughs> Time is up. But hey, listen, I want to go back to the first one that you said, and, the, and even the second one, a little bit of money on the front end doing basic maintenance can go a long way. I mean, you talked about the, the, um, on average, $8,000 to replace a roof, sometimes for just a few hundred bucks, they yep. can extend the life of that roof. What, is that a service that you all provide, a, a maintenance? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we do a couple things. We do offer free inspections. So we'll get up on the roof, check everything out for you and look for those kind of issues. And then we can at, uh, take care of those repairs as well. So we encourage homeowners to get ahead of that. Yeah. And, and right as the buzzer went off, you were talking about a big one, right? Understanding your insurance policy. Um, we're going to, th these tips are too important to, to cut it off, right? Um, but we're going to include some more information about that in our blog. We're going to list all five of Brent's tips and give you some in-depth information there. You have another one on your list that you sent me that uh, talks about uh, photos and kind of a cool service that you offer for people. Um, Again, just, just give us the big picture overview. Why are these five tips so important for people to take care of now and as, as opposed to later? Well, it's all about being prepared and looking for ways to save money. Like you said, this is not uh, an insignificant cost when you're looking at replacing your roof. Anything you can do to be ahead of that game, to extend the life of the roof, to, to know what's gonna happen if there is a, a storm or an emergency. Um, all of those things are so important to, to save you money in the long run. Yeah, absolutely. So Brent, we have, um, uh, Brent is with English Roofing. I can tell you I've been in real estate uh, about 10 years now as a uh, real estate, as a realtor. Uh, I've been in the game as an investor and certainly been a homeowner. I, I could pick a lot of different companies, but we choose English Roofing because they take such good care of our clients. Brent, appreciate you being with us today. Uh, folks, you're going to see all five of Brent's tips on our blog, the812andyou.com, the812andyou.com. We'll put all five of those tips up. Uh, so you can go take a look at those and we'll make sure that we can get you connected with English Roofing. But Brent, where, where can people find English Roofing and more information about you? So you can go to our website, EnglishRoofingLLC.com, uh, or you can just give us a call, 812-913-7770. Awesome. Thanks, Brent. And uh, we'll get this up on the blog and get people to 
take a look and, and get them in a position where they can uh, avoid some of these costly repairs down the road during this year's storm season. Sounds good. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Brent.